folks, the Celtic Nerd here bringing you another nerdy video. It is May the 4th. And, oh boy, ah, I, I always love this. Also, ah, they went true. So, folks, we are going to do something real fun. Where is it? Oh my god, are you joking? I am 200 sure. Oh no. I was gonna buy this pack, but I am 200 credits short. Let's see, how close am I to getting my next, getting a 200 credit reward? Oh boy. Not until level 48. We just have to wait for it now to go true. And then we'll, we'll buy three of these and we'll see what cool armors we may get. Also, I better clear some, some inventory space. Uh, there should be a droid nearby. A medical droid. We're gonna need as much space as we can get. There he is up there. Stand by for examination and suggested products. Here we go. Let's go pack some more. No, oh, we have slightly better ones. For way more, and we can sell these lot for seven thousand. Excellent. All right, uh, that is time for the steel saber. Unfortunately, dies is something we cannot. Claim. Oh, we can dump this blaster. Actually, no, I think we can dump that. I got, I got that from... Uh, pre for pre-ordering a pack. There we go. We, we have... A, we're, we're, we're making space, folks. So here we go. Uh, we have enough space now, I think. Here we go. Uh, first off, I do need to close this one. Let's you are fit for duty. Return to your post. Okay, here we go. So they, they're after moving into its own complete thing now. Be... 
Oh, there they are. Alright, let's oh, let's see what we get, folks, for May 4th! Okay, so we got a pet. We got a nice looking blaster. Might be fun to use with. Uh, oh, there's a carrier. That's cool. Uh, so these three things are pretty nice. Grants a small amount of reputation points with said reputation. Okay, not bad. But yeah, so typically we get three uh, items. Ooh, an exposed lightsaber. We got a circus speeder. We got a junk shop furnace. Companion. Mm -hmm. It's the first three items that you really do want to care about. Oh no, they can show up anywhere. We got some new pets. The first ice have fire droid, micro defender droid, and we got an assault cannon. That'd be great for when we get to the Republic Trooper because I do plan to use uh, that particular device. Uh, we got our first armor Voss Dignitary Armor Set. We got a uh, destitute smuggler, an employee to work our as uh, one of our bases. Public medic. Battle worn tribute armor. We actually have the. Uh, we actually have. Uh, we have something akin to this. Assassin's droid. That's a companion gift. Ooh, we got a white, blue, purple, a triple color lightsaber. That is pretty cool. I can not, yeah, you can see it. The white is in the center, then it goes blue, and then it goes purple. That is pretty cool. We have a cool armor set that might suit one of our one of, one of my jet knights. We got a nice Viridian uh, lightsaber color. That's cool. We got yellow gold Hawkeye. Oh, and we got a statue of Dark Malgus. We got a pet Ebon Hawk. I am so equipping that. Pet. Decoration. We got frog. Fro a frog dog's uh, hoop ball away uniform. Never a big fan of those. Hollow sign sail, emote bob. Uh, rare munitions, which is mixed. Oh, it's a reputation thing. Bit musician. I guess we want to go for our Cantina 5, one of our strongholds. Oh, wow. Marco Ragnos armor! And we have a pet uh, fury. Got a new speeder bike, round pirate rug, gold, Seculean exiles offhand a blaster. That's a cool looking blaster. I like I like uh, the kill power. Then I also like how it's an extended barrel. We've got a heavy storm, heavy cannon. Not bad. We've got a security camera we can put up in our bases now. Uh, only uh, one though, so we can't put it everywhere. Revered Sayer's armor set. Not bad, not bad. We 
got to die. Um, might have to be careful when I use that. Uh, Pitless Raider, Dual Saber. Carbon, oh, we got a carbon, uh, Carbonite Bounty of Hut. So we have a, oh, wow. Uh, we can pull a reverse Han Solo have a part of Carbonite uh, uh, as a decoration. Got a new lightsaber. Restore the archives ta table with benches. That's cool. Uh, I can't wait to see what that looks like. Uh, S S S Serenity's unsealed saber stuff. Oh, I like how the, the crystals in the center. I assume it's in the center. I don't. I don't imagine one end is longer than the other. I imagine it would be. It will be symmetrical. Oh, we got some unique cosmetics for Thran, uh, Cedric's, and Marvel Quinn. I really like that for Marvel Quinn. Um, We got a dark grey for the primary colour. Speeder. Pale purple with medium grey. Then in that pack grows anywhere. Ain't too good. Rancorp floor pit. That's cool. Uh, charged piece maker armor set. I'm always more interested in armors and weapons, for obvious reasons. We have some reputation stuff. We got a uh, dual mech shell flags. Macro continues to go. We do have a tap of a plate. A plate of tap. Almond blue Hawkeye crystal. Mm, not sure about that. It looks nice, but... Mm. Vicious Assault. Saberous Body Armor. Oh, I remember Geeskus from Knights of the Old Republic. We're in our last 10 packs. Ooh, we already got that. I, I, I hate... Armored and no, see that's something I would definitely. Oh, I might actually, I might actually put that on reshape instead of the outfit I currently have her in. Look at her, I like her in the the Reaper armor set. Relaxed vestments armor set. To Scorpion, Scoro. Advanced gold core lights a hawker. See that that looks interesting. Like it just looks like it's a solid. Like, it looks even looks bigger. Look, the blade looks bit larger than normal. Perfect. Combat engineers armor set. Nice. Guard captain's chest plate. Now, that's very rare. There are some uh, outfits that are, like, you know, single pieces. And it's up against because whatever they're inspired from is a single piece. Like, they, they didn't wear a lot. Fearless Hunter. I'm, like, I'm also going to take a like, closer look at each of these armors, folks. Classic Contractor's Armour set. Ooh, we got a cool title, Re Re uh, Revan's Heir. Might use that for one of my sick characters or Jedi characters. Sit Hermit Armour! Nice! And it's the, it's, the, it's the head and hood, it's the hood and uh, mask combo that I really like. Oh, nice. Okay, now 
every t all those items appear here. Alright. We might as well start climbing some of these. Like, there's a lot of them. Okay. Saw the hockey it's on shop No? What was it? Shift P. We should definitely focus on less on the armor stuff. And the weapons. Cause like we can easily have them all. So now the problem is it's defaulting to, to uh, like, you know, up. It's on the same lines as these others. It will stay uh, side by the way. You know what I like. You know what I like.
All that's up now is weapons and armor. Nope. Stop using that. Get nothing from it. Nothing from it. Couldn't have done it better. These. Couldn't have done it better. You know what I like. You know what I like. <laughs> okay. Push it be again. There we go. Now it's best to claim this type of stuff in your ship. I have messages! Woo. Oh god. Looking for our personal storage at the very least because you need uh, space because these things will be bound to me, which means I can't put them in my legacy storage. There you go, cargo hold. There, that's what we're looking for. Okay, actually, let's see. Are some of them accessible now? Uh, do, 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 do. So yeah, there's the restored variant that we had. Uh, there's the one we just unlocked. I think. I don't know if it was there or previously or not. We need some that definitely... Okay, yeah, so they're not actually in there yet, folks. So as you can see, they're not collected. So that's the thing. We need to actually open up the packs. <laughs> So uh, actually, you can see it's uh, they say locked in collections as well. It's infuriating, but unfortunately, that's the way this game runs. There we go. So now we uh, there you go. It's now unlocked for character in collections. So like once we equip the armor, then we're good. Strange. That armor actually has base stats. That's that is very odd. Uh, hmm. There is level requirements though, because like most armors are like terrible. Okay. Uh, locked for character and collection. Unlocked for character and collection. So yeah, we can store the uh, these. Uh, we can store these. <sighs> All right. We're gonna have to store character cosmetics because we we literally cannot equip them. So they actually have to go into legacy storage. So. There's that. And the same goes for weapons of not our class. Actually, hold on. If we equip these to our companions, does that count? That, does that count? So, let's see. Do lightsaber? Yeah, that's not going to equip to anyone. That's not going to equip to anyone. The blast rifle might. 
Uh, Soul Cannon, not equipable by anyone. Cyber Zap, not equipable by anyone. Soul Cannon. Sniper Rifle, we can equip that to someone. Offhand Blaster, we might be able to equip that to someone. Uh, Dual Saber, nope. And then we're also going to store the dies because, well, I'm not going to. I'm always very hesitant on using them. We're also going to store uh, the crystals. There we go. There we go. Um, yeah, we'll also store this. It's always handier to move all these down here because that way the clothing goes up top as well. Now we're not going to open, uh, we're not going to actually open them all at once. We're going to go through one. We're going to take a deep look at the outfit, break it down, and then we'll look at it. But we're going to do it uh, going down in order. these up here now let's see if equipping them to our companions uh, sends them to uh, allows us to store them away okay so he can't take blaster rifles by the looks of it you cannot come to say nope nope okay so she can yes why that's shown as that. Okay, yeah, that's just refused to show her wep the weapon. Alright, but yeah, you know, they are unlocked, though. Unlocked for a character and such, so that's handy for us. Okay, now she's coming up as no we having no weapon. So that display is clearly blow bugged. So here's the rep. Here's the. Ugh, I clearly it's maybe based on some kind of HK. Sorry, no AK type thing. Right, let's let's see what the. Now see now that actually looks all right with her. I like that. And at the moment she's set to heal. As a healer, like uh, I always find it. Uh, hmm, that is really cool. I like that. That's a really cool uh, weapon. We'll put a sniper rifle up here. For the time being, but yeah, we had no one for the offhand blaster, so we're going to have to store it away. Okay, but that's the weapons out of the way. Let's start with this first stuff, the Mark Note Ragnos. All right, so we have to equip the entire set in order to get it unlocked in Ting. And oh my God, we're gonna have to pop with this whole, this will bind it to you. Like it's already bound to me. This item is bound for me. Like, like why do that? Like, if it's already bound to me, why do that? All right, so we are going to also go to Outfair, and we're going to click Show Gear as Outfit. So here we go, folks. So this is the Markdo Ragdos. I'm, I really like it. The only, sorry, there's one thing I don't like about it, and that's the helmet. Not a fan of Markdo Ragdos's uh, helmet. Just not. Not a fan. But no, it's it's not a bad armor set. Alright, and actually, you know what? We're going to do this uh, with multiple armors, actually, folks. Just so that way uh, everything is nice and neat. So, 
Okay, so we're going to open up another pack. This is the Relaxed Vestments. Look at it. so. This is pretty cool. Uh, was not expecting the relaxed vestments to be a full kit. So that's interesting. Oh wait, it's not. It is missing a helmet piece. But you know, it looks all right. Okay, now this is the outfit I was thinking of wearing for uh, Risha. Definitely more of a set outfit. And, like, I don't know, I just don't like the idea of reaching, like, you know, robes and whatnot. Like this, you know? She's like, she's a pirate princess, you know? Alright. Look at this outfit. It, from the little preview we got, it looks like it might be a Jedi outfit. Okay, yeah. It definitely is. Alright, so this is called the Classic uh, Conservator. So... It's not, it's not bad. I like the light armor, but like it's it's not a lot of armor. Uh, the helmet, not too sure on. Obviously, do not wear it if you're a Twi'lek. <laughs> but other than that, it's not bad. Okay, next up is the combat engineer's armor. All right, let's take a look at this. Now, come on, folks, we can technically change the colors of these outfits, so I'm not too focused on coloration. So, this is actually not bad. I actually like it. I might actually equip this. I might actually equip Teresha. Uh, or, no, better yet. So she is, she definitely, she well, she works on engines. So I am torn between equipping it to Carso uh, or Risha. Because, like, Carso loves to tinker and, you know, make weapons. So, like, I'm, 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 draw, I'm leaning towards him. We have an expert fire outfit. This will be more akin to if, we, if I was to make it a, a juggernaut. Like a big cooking barbarian, um, uh, sick class, which is actually not bad. I actually like it. Um, those bracers are a little odd. Actually, I might even use it for an early bounty hunter before, like, he becomes a yeah, I might use it for the bounty hunter. Except, mm, the one thing about I, I dislike about the bounty hunter class is. The whole pack gear and our inventory is full, so we have to start putting some of the summer away. And the hunting is because I had everything organized. We'll 
put as much of this away. I'm an interrogator, I'm an interrogator. And then next is the classic conservator. We're gonna keep the combat engineer in my inventory because again, I might be equipping that to someone. The expert fighter is going to be stored away. And this is the revered seer. So let's finish up this pack. Cancel. There it is. back up here we should actually move up here so that way everything is nice and neat and with its parts so the revered seer now this one I was also dubious on from its image Okay, uh, the helm, the horn, the helmet bit is not as much as I thought it was. Um, let's see here. It's not bad. Again, um, definitely not for Twi'leks. I like it's, it's cool. I might, uh, obviously, I would wear this on more of a sit warrior character. But no, I do like it. Okay. Uh, now we have the Imperial Advisor. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, this is based on the people from uh, what's it called? You see them in uh, Return of the Jedi. They're, they're part of Palpatine's entourage. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely would use it for like a, uh, a sorcerer motif. Oh, uh, we already got the armor twice. Yeah, we got the armor twice. So like there's the revered seer. So we're actually going to move this one up here. Just to showcase that we've already opened it. Uh, Fearless Hunter. Now this one I was curious about. Because I could, to me it looked like a lot of exposed skin. Okay, no, it's not. It's not bad. I might give this to Corso Riggs actually, because it has like you know the grenades, it has like these pouches. So yeah, I might give it to him and then give the engineer, like the combat engineer, to Risha. This is the balanced armor set. <sighs> yeah, it's it's one again. It's one of those. It does not have an entire set. It's, it's just these five pieces. Uh, not bad. I the only bit. If you were to take off the shoulder bits, I would actually I would actually like it. Right, next up, Battle Worn tri uh, Triumphant. So now we have both damaged and non damaged one. Now, this is actually the old Sit armor uh, worn by the forces of Revan and Malik.
Alright, next up is the Charged Peacemaker. Definitely, uh, just by the name, I'm thinking uh, Jedi Counselor. Oh, even as lights going through it. That is cool. I like that. Uh, yeah, I can definitely see a, a Jedi Counselor wearing this. Definitely. I like it, and I also like the energy go flowing through it. Gives the impression like, yeah, I'm here to keep the peace, but I, m m I, I'm wearing like protective gear. Now we're gonna have to store some stuff away because we're out of uh, space. So we'll move the revered seer stuff. Uh, yeah, we'll dump this. Uh, Imperial Visor. Alright, next is, uh, I thought I might keep this for a thing. Next is the Balanced Combat. And you can actually see we have the entire set there unlocked, thank god. Okay, now... This is where things get a little tricky. Uh, now that we're completely out of storage space. Unless I buy another bay. have just under mm. so I don't want to destroy these items until I know 100% that they are unlocked uh, let's see we might as well open this one classic contractors I like it. It's a fairly simple armor set, clearly. Um, again, don't wear it as a Twi'lek. Playing a Twi'lek, it again does make things awkward, folks. But no, I do like it. Alright, next up is oh, the hotball outfits. The away team colors. Ugh. I don't know anyone who's dressing up their character like a sport, like a sports player. In sort of, I, I, I've yet to meet anyone. All right, uh, inscrutable pursuer. Actually, don't I not already have this? Uh, unlocked for the account click. Uh, yeah, so we already actually have this for everyone. So this is something we already actually have. Like it's even popping up like seven of seven, even though we just we destroyed the other pieces. Okay, 
Uh, mental and separatist armor. Like the thing you like, the one thing I do like is they keep track of like clearly what you've unlocked. I'll just set there. You go. Uh, not bad. We we see a lot of armors like this with the bag and the bandolier and these type of shoulder pads. It's, it's all right. It'd be something I would have a character wear early game, you know, as a reflection of like, oh yeah, this is, I'm um, I'm new to all this stuff. Now here's something I've been looking forward to, the Sit Hermit. Now because of my head tails, we cannot see all of the outfit, because like as you can see, there's supposed to be a hood there. Okay. I like it. I like the battered robes. The belt even has some damage. There's some light armor on the shoulders. We have that cool mask. Definitely, this would be more I would use for a sit assassin. Or, ooh, a sit maraud. Yeah, uh, a marauder. Would also work. Okay, but uh, the thing is that we are at the point where we have to double check. We're going to check our collection now and see about is there, can we afford to start destroying things? So here we go. Show collected. So we're definitely getting some of our other stuff. There's our revered Sid, there's our fearless hunter, and then there's the icon that shows that we can unlock it then for the entirety of the for all our for the entirety of the accounts which is handy for us there it is yep and we can add them to, we can essentially add the outfit to uh, this character uh, for no additional cost so that is handy Sure, everything's. To... Yeah, see, there it is, the inscrutable thing. So, yeah, we can destroy some of these armor pieces now. Faster to do it, destroy them like this. Now we're going to be equipping the last outfit. This is the uh, boss dignitary outfit. And there is the last piece. And then there's even a tin here that has been added to your collections. That's great for us. Now we're going to go to companions. So.
Now, let's see, that, that actually looks really nice. I like that. Now, as for him. That looks nice. It even fits with the aesthetic of his blaster. I like that. to get some gear back on. There we go. Deconstruct. Excellent. Now, did they highlight? No, yeah, so I can't give them... Damn, I st they really should add that as a feature that when you're on your ship, you can hand out gifts. But okay, folks. Wow, uh, it took us an hour to open up all three of those packs and then to also, oh God. Uh, let's, put, let's put my uh, preferred outfit back on, there we go. I'd be like, I like this outfit because it actually goes with the head tails. All right. Now the weapons are an issue. We, I do need to fit, uh, sorry, the weapons. But for the time being, we're gonna go back to uh, Balmore. We still have to finish the stuff there. All right, but in the meantime, this is the calendar to sign in. One name, one sky, and happy May the Fourth.